Uh, 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 visually. Damn. Yeah, damn. We, only, we the only podcast that record audio first and then put the video on. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do. Slow lead in and bleed in. You know what lead in. It's like a silent movie. <laughs> Ronnie. What's happening? What's happening, man? Tell the people what's going on. Tell them why this is so weird. You getting lap band surgery? <laughs> <laughs> My boy finna get tucked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nipped and tucked. Yo, butt get tucked. Cut that food for my boy. Whoa. Give me a little BBL, a little T or something. Little T, little TBL, but TBL is retarded. You get the BBL and it's you gonna, gonna, gonna be looking like Chalk Dog Child Nine Nine. You seen that nigga lately? No. Hey, Rodney Jerkins, bro. That nigga that got a whole new everything, bro. What? You, y'all ain't seen him? Nah. Y'all remember yeah. who I'm talking about, though? Right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. nigga yeah. who used to produce shit for Brandy. He used to look like Cleveland Brown. <laughs> <laughs> now that nigga look like uh, Antonio Brown. I okay, like, this nigga. You <laughs> dig? <laughs> it's the season four. He got everything done, bro. Yeah, man. Why not? It's a nigga that got taller. <laughs> yeah, nigga you threw his knees shit? up. He threw his knees <laughs> up. Nigga stendo knees, well, man. Went, <laughs> that nigga trying to holler at Dwight. He went from <laughs> from Cleveland to Miami like LeBron. <laughs> Cleveland to Miami like LeBron. And trying to holler at Dwight. It's prime <laughs> fucking jokery, fellas. Nah, what's happening? Wasn't Remo helping Dwight out when he came up to Wild? <laughs> oh, man. Remo, was, Remo, Remo wasn't on that season. I did not. But that was the season that everybody was like. Not that though. Remo was. No, everybody, yeah. Anyway. Niggas pulled up, and it was also another nigga pulled up, and they was like, hey, what do I do talking to that nigga over there? <laughs> why is he still man. here? Why is he talking to that nigga with that Call long blind wing? White, wild, man. That's a wild boy, man. Hey, man, they showing slow mos of this nigga doing crazy shit, bro, and I don't like it. Yeah, man. He was, I mean, I never knew he was that flagrant and that them, open with the shit. Them, them rumors have been circulating for a long time. That's why he can't Every play Every time right? I see him, I'll be like, why is that nigga on that nag? Why is that nigga on that nag? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga keep him a little nag with him, don't he? Yeah, he oh, do. Oh, man. <laughs> how, you gonna try to a, how you gonna try to ambush somebody with a train? <laughs> Ambition so, nigga hey, with man, a train is crazy. <laughs> hey, my thing is, he, he got online talking about some, uh, yo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Ambition a nigga with a train? No, nah, ambush. Oh, ambush a nigga. Yeah, that was a train That's crazy, ambush. bro. <laughs> you want to fuck me? Hey, ambush on, boy. He get online talking about something. Yeah, what I do in my bedroom is none of my business. None of y'all business. True. But, nigga, if you out here mouth raping, that is the You oh, forcing <laughs> mouth. The court what? gonna say you got to know the business. I man. hate that you term, tell uh, also. Huh? What? I hate that that's the thing now. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, did, do I have a started? I ain't never heard it before this. Oh, yeah, I think I made it up, and I hate I did that. You said mouth raping? <laughs> yeah. Say it again. That's, uh, that's what he charged again. with. They really how, got him up he there. He forced oral sex on the young man. How can you, you can't force oral hole. sex on nobody, bro? That nigga something. Nah, you can, like, bro. You gotta be, Ronnie. You can't be like that. You gotta be progressive. Everything sexually can be forced if it's non consensual. No, nah, for sure. I'm gonna say that we got a woman also, here, and you know I don't really give a fuck about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a Macaulay here, bro. So, yeah, so I just said that shit, bro. You know, you know, you ain't no such thing about rape, bro. You talking about? You can close your mouth. <laughs> you can. Oh man, I don't even want to go there. Man. <laughs> nah, but see, that's the Jesus thing. Is that ain't, it's the other way around, huh? The mouth rape is the other way around. He raped the nigga with his mouth. That what I'm saying? Is that no. rape? Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't saying like Dwight was like, yo, what? nah, you gonna suck What's my dick. What's going nah. on? Dwight was like, nah, I'm gonna suck your dick. That nigga was, was so <laughs> ready, bro. <laughs> on two. <laughs> you put hands in. Bro, on two knees. This is the wildest start to a podcast oh, Jesus we've Christ. ever had. Welcome back. That's true. More Than Culture is the brand. It's the More Than Culture show. Come on, The Secret Genius. Remo Rod. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Joe report live from Mrs. Witter. <laughs> <laughs> I have infiltrated and broke in. I'm in the back. Just drop your chicken, as I feel. My you know? boy, hey, my boy gonna get the eyes fixed, man. What the fuck you mean? 2020 yeah. on the hoe. Well, what happened was I heard, I, heard, I injured the, the one eye I had left. Okay. And, uh, I can't drive, so. Damn. You got some cotton so candy stuck in it? we get the regular eye fixed, and then we get the, the original Hey, one so you can't drive it because your eye like, I got a, I got a good-ass uh, movie pitch for you. You ready? Got it. Driving Miss Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> you fucking I mean, if you, can't, if you can't get you get roasted by your friends, you can get roasted. <laughs> you can't eat trash, I mean, man. We got to get you right. Shit. The light be fucking would be bad, bro. You know the crazy part? I wish it was from like a like some hard shit, like a, like I'm going to slap the nigga and I got to fight or something. <laughs> no. Taking two hot showers and rub my eye too hard. This nigga got hot shower syndrome. Boy. <laughs> hey, you know what happened, though? This, this nigga, nigga started um, steaming. Boiled his eyeball. <laughs> so we're going to pick us and get in this nigga eye, bro. God damn. How hot a shower is you taking? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> what? <laughs> damn. Hey, y'all yo, yo, let you build his guy. <laughs> Try to warm all that water. You got to cook them hot dogs to that bucket. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga is pressure washing his body. <laughs> thank y'all for laughing at my pain. I have been living in absolute hell for two weeks. And uh, thank you, bro. So like, can't you can see? So, you can you just can't like read stuff to see, or you can't I can see? see? I can see real close, like Jack Thriller on my phone. Okay. Uh, oh my god. I can see right in front of me, but it's more like when you get out this. Nigga, I, how many fakes I got? <laughs> how many fakes I got? <laughs> No, when you when you get out the pool, look how your eyes are glazing. <laughs> how many fellas you know? Oh no, I ain't even looking at your screen. Oh, oh, you said, oh two. All right, boom. Okay, good. okay. Yeah. No, I can see shit. It's just I can't like it's just some light behind you. It's just a black figure. Like I ain't seen my wife in two weeks. And I've been tearing that ass. Like, you know, I don't know who I'm fucking in there. I've been just breaking off. You know what I mean? So, so everybody look like Ferb to you. <laughs> <laughs> everybody look like that nigga that grabbed old boy and ghost. Remember? Oh like, yeah, yeah. Ghost nah, yeah. Got the, shadows. the shadows. The shadows. You ain't seen ghosts? Nah, that shit was slick, kind of scary. With Patrick Swayze. Yeah, yeah, yeah nigga. Oh, okay. Thirty years ago. Man, I seen everything. Yeah, we like watched movies. Like ghosts, I watch movies about Christian ghosts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ghost was Christian. Said Muslim can't like watch movies about Christian ghosts. Oh yeah, TV you ain't never seen the preacher's wife. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, we talking about Kamal. We talking about Kamal, bro. Huh? The little boy on preacher's wife said he never had Cyrus before. This nigga Dizel that turned his car to a car. <laughs> He turned that shit to a scat pack. I ain't seen it. <laughs> I might have seen it. If Giselle was in it, I might have seen it. That was a good ass movie. It's Chris a good Boy holiday was good. movie. He was, he was finna fuck, though. That's the crazy part. Like, they took the angels down and he was finna beat. And that was with Angela Bassett's husband, right? Yeah, and yeah, uh, uh, Whitney Houston. Courtney Vance, yeah. He in this new movie, on this new Prime movie about bank robbery. And when I tell y'all, that shit is not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, I hate to say I'm, it. I've been rewatching Ballers because I remember it. So. <laughs> oh, do we got time? It's probably going to take a minute. Well, that'll take 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Gonna we're going to run yeah. through the big speaker. All right. All right. We're going to take a one minute break, y'all, and roll up. Oh, we're going to stay here. Ronnie, hold on. We're going to hook you up to this uh, Bluetooth speaker, man. Because we can't, I, we can't hear chuck. you when we talk. Yeah, yeah, because you be talking all over you and shit. Welcome, nigga. All right. Well, Same well, shit you well, usually well, do to people, we're doing it to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't see it coming. This is <laughs> <laughs> this is your hell, nigga. <laughs> Everybody should be like me. Oh man, that's a good one though. I ain't gonna lie. First, he, uh, did Fur really bitch. tell you that, or he bullshit? Nah, I just, I just did that. Oh, he just said. <laughs> right. Inspired. He said your new comedy album should be called "I Am Legend." <laughs> there he is. I fuck with it. Cause I know you. I know you got a whole thirty minute set about this shit by now. Two weeks. No, I got to say about my uh, son is on the cheerleading team. It's the second grade. Oh Lord, and I hate rich nigga talk, bro. <laughs> my son on the cheerleading team is rich nigga talk. Big box is in pairing mode. Hold on, bro. Waiting for device to connect. Oh, everybody at home love this right now, baby. Hey man, especially the truck drivers. Hey, what the fuck? I already, I already pair my Bluetooth. <laughs> I'm gonna double pair my Bluetooth. That'd be crazy. Come on, don't pull up the wrong thing on that screen now. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, right. bro, don't Ebony yeah. alerts. I don't see no, Ebony yeah. Alert. I salami lank them poem. Whoa! <laughs> oh, what's the guy? I might already be connected to this shit. What's it called? Mia Khalifa. Uh, pro Pro Rex. <laughs> Mia Khalifa. <laughs> she don't do straight now. Who is, you know what I'm saying? Ah, I did she see She is that. elevated, yeah. I did see that. He said she don't do yeah. porn no more. I think so. She got OnlyFans. Yeah. Her body was, Big like, Gen funny, Box though. Big Jambox paired. Uh, she made for white boys that like little boys. 
Oh my god. You know what I'm talking about? That's crazy. You know exactly what I'm talking about though, right? I mean, but she was a little bit more voluptuous. Nah, she has really big breasts, but like she had no hips. Oh, I got a crazy feedback in my phone. Jeez. Turn yours down. Well, you know. Can you hear it? Oh, no. (laughs) Nigga, I sure (laughs) did. Oh, no. What happened? It's like buzzing. It's like a feedback. That sounds better. Then you sound good for us, but it ain't good for you? Yeah, it just sound like like uh, like the aliens about to call. Oh, hang up and call right now. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It'll probably be like that. It's even louder. Okay, that's it's bad. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad for you. Hold on. Oh, my God, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I heard the fucking dial up just now. <laughs> that was that really happened. That's what happened. Crazy. It's AOL stuff. Yeah, yeah, I swear, y'all, we usually more prepared than this, but we also would be lying if we said that too. So might be the frequency. No, I just, I just had to change yeah, the input. Come on, I have to see your genius something really quickly. Y'all get that to better, see a genius moment on, on live TV. Ronnie, yeah. that better? Oh, man, we can't hear you. Hold on, we can't hear you now, brother. No, don't don't touch nothing. You. If you can hear us, don't touch nothing. Let them all touch it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hey, yo. What in the Dwight? <laughs> in the du- oh, Dwight Howard. Oh, That's new like no homo, bro. We ain't saying that no more, bro. He got oh, the DW, oh, like bro. What in the DW? Oh, ah. <laughs> DW? What in the DW? The white around your mouth. You know what that stands for now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the white, the white around, around your mouth take mouth. a whole new meaning to Let it me now. Let me tell you something, bro. You should do comedy. I don't know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> the white around your lips. No, no, no. I'm talking about Dwight Howard. I said the white around your mouth got a whole different meaning to it now. Is it still on? <laughs> he can hear us, but he can't right, see. The plug came out. The oh, plug came out. Hold on. That what happened. R.I.P. just killed the plug. <laughs> Man, like, you about 12 oil changes in with them hands, Ferg. Turn back to the mode. Waiting for the device to connect. Anybody else hear that beat when it's mm, Yeah, mm, 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 I did. Right. Spared. Yeah, shit, I let me stop doing that beat because that nigga, I feel like he want all his money. <laughs> that nigga, like, hey, for me snapping Yo, the full time, right, he gonna ask me for eighty five dollars. Hey, lady, but I heard my <laughs> heard my song on y'all podcast. I need eighty five dollars. But it was a I heard you snap with beat. <laughs> <laughs> but you copied the melody flow. Right. The melody flow. The this melody flow. <laughs> you didn't even I made it up. All right, that shit ain't gonna work. All right, cut it off. Cut it off. I think this is. Did you keep huh? Did you keep no, that, that ain't gonna we'll Turn come. that up then. No, that's not gonna work. Cause turn him up. It won't let me do the output from well, that's one cool. and the from the other. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Come on. As long as you can, can you still hear him first. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, people gonna love this. Cause yeah, it's, it's forcing me to to do the mic input through that too, and that doesn't have a. Mic yeah, it ain't working, guys. I don't think we need to tell why. Yeah. It ain't. If Kamal can't do it, it ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I do know. You did. You know hey, man, I one appreciate it. Too, man. That's a, I appreciate it. for show about Both something. Confident. Man, I bought my bitch ass had a fucking. Uh, uh, anxiety attack at Dave Chappelle's show yesterday. Didn't even get to watch the nigga for real. You cried? What happened? Do you know what anxiety attack? Sometimes it can come out as tears. <laughs> That's a, 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 a gay anxiety attack. Hey, it was day. Damn, hey, bro. Man. I think uh-huh. it was mostly because I didn't eat. Oh wow. I didn't eat. That is then... gay. I ain't eating. I got myself like kind of blocked in in this little section we were sitting in, and I was like, "Oh shit!" And I was feeling dizzy and claustrophobic. And the next thing I know, I was like, "Oh man!" I know the person next to me was like, "Damn, this nigga must really hate Kevin Hart because he yawning and sweating and putting his head in his lap." Oh shit! I was like, "No, I want to listen to this nigga, but I'm fucking dying over here." You could be pregnant though. I could be pregnant. (laughs) <laughs> I need some ice chips. Those are the first signs we got. <laughs> first trimester. Some ice person. chips. We'll, we'll, shit. we'll shit. fuck around and alleviate some nausea. Though. Ice chips is calm you down. So hold on, your wife be getting like dizzy and shit when she pregnant? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not, like like Lordy sickness, that's all. Oh, dizzy spells. Yeah, I'm going to just make it relate to you because it's funny. Like That's how comedy works. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I, I got real interested, though. I just wanted to know. Oh, no, no, no. I, 
I only get anxiety on a plane, like if I'm in the middle seat or some shit, and it's a white lady going, ah. Oh, well, bitch, sorry. We're going to be first class in it, man. Bruh, middle seat running. <laughs> middle seat running is a menace. Nigga, I, would, I rode a middle seat from Atlanta to L.A. before. Oh, my God. Who did yeah, that to you? Like, yeah, yeah. Jesus, Who the Lord. Who did that to you? Yeah. Universal Delta. Circus? Delta? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm saying you. Oh, you booked <laughs> <laughs> it. You booked it? Oh, you know how Rebo get after you can, after you can wear costumes. He get really. I don't inspired. know if you can see Remo, but he got a haircut. Like, yeah. he got the designs on He got the swooshes in there. Yeah, he got a Halloween cut. That ain't him talking. Oh, That's the, the swooshes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he got a you got a whoosh. Nah, he got the Shinobi no symbol. Remember <laughs> 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 Shinobi? That nigga got calligraphy. Yeah, that nigga went old school. <laughs> it's real ass techy. You know what I'm saying. Okay, got it. Nah, it's the type of shit I would. Shit. It was the type of shit I razor Ramon. <laughs> it's the type of shit I'd do if I had hair type shit. You got the Instagram first tour joint with the folks. With I got the uh oh uh oh uh oh. Man, we would show you, but it don't even matter no more. Yeah, no, nah, we good. You got the Michael Irvin shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, he can't see that. He can't, I don't think, see. think he can see I'm like, that. He can't see because he on camera, but That much see. detail. Huh? Look at, hey, don't do that. You hey, no, hey, come hey, on man. now. Oh, we definitely about to lose subscribers Oh, now. man. Oh, we done lost 14 subscribers. Up. Put it inside the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Put it inside the glasses. <laughs> Boy, did y'all see Remo's uh, Halloween costume yesterday? Nigga, I saw it live in person. <laughs> he was Eddie fucking long. That nigga had five rocks in his pocket of head, man. <laughs> Somebody said I look like Chadwick. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was naked underneath that robe. What is, it, what is that, just a choir robe? What? It's a choir robe. Yeah, okay, that is an immaculate choir robe. My bro, nigga, bro. my mom gracious. was like top tier new birth supporter, <laughs> million dollar club. Yeah, yeah that shit ain't her whole life. life. And <laughs> diamond cuffs and shit. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was serious, we gotta throw that up. That right. shit is serious. Remo had on the regional choir championship. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty, mighty chorus. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty, mighty chorus. <laughs> Come to join the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, sister act three on the way. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Don't let it come out. Replica. I'm Mitchell and Ness, Mary Clarence. I'm Mitchell Hey, bro, I know you can't see, but I got. I can't, I'm staying with what I'm saying. I got on the Al Bundy jersey, bro. <laughs> you got the polk high jersey? Yeah, man. <laughs> Huh? It's just blue. It's just a blue shirt. It's just a blue yeah. shirt. It's got numbers and letters on yeah. it. Too, Hold on, I got. I got. This how Jack Dillon look at his phone. This how he texts. <laughs> it's all forehead skin. You got the blue hat over there. Say, huh? All right, all man. Right. Okay, man. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Got a little Yeti motherfucker going. <laughs> I'm talking about. Yeti motherfuckers. So, do look, keep how it cold. Have an anxiety chat with all that jury on. These niggas don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how you know I had on all my shit, too? You already know. I look yeah, like man, Adrian Broner, nigga. Shit. <laughs> like, this nigga can't be funny uh, with all that man, shit. Man, uh, <laughs> I, I waited it out, and I knew I knew after Kevin Hart was going to be like a music set, like Dave like to clean the palette before he go on stage. So they do right. like 10-minute music set with Trauma. So I was like, when that happens, people are probably going to get up, and then I'll be able to make my escape. And then I waited. And I went to make my escape, and the motherfucker tried to stop me because mm -mm. he was like, Dave's about to come out of this tunnel because I was about to go back to the green room. He's like, Dave about to come out of this tunnel. He ain't letting nobody in. And I just just kept walking. <laughs> I, I, I knew you didn't even go because I seen too many niggas backstage. I'm like, Tyler, it's not at this shit. That's why I asked you. I like, now, I went, and then too many niggas ended up backstage. It wasn't so many niggas at the first part. First of all, this nigga tipped crazy, man. This nigga wore a, a plaid shirt, right? And was like, I'm a lumberjack. <laughs> And this nigga went by uh, home, um, no, Ace Hardware and bought a real axe, a hatchet. Oh, my God. And going to State Farm Arena and got that with motherfucker in there, too. With a real life axe. <laughs> with a real life axe, nigga. Ain't, no, oh ain't no costume. No costume. Bought one from the store. Nobody the but the king. That was, that's that what. Right that shit was that's funny crazy. as hell, bro. I couldn't believe it. That's I what. Really forehead, like, Bro, no, I didn't even stab. Could have chopped the nigga head off. No, really went Clean crazy off. Clean in there. Smooth off. <laughs> Clean. Eight dollar hatchet. Damn. Oh, he killed man. He did. He he did. Uh, he had ten minutes. He went up there and killed people. Were surprised to see him. You know what I'm saying? You know how that energy kind of carried him through his set, and that shit was dope. He ended yeah. it off with the king shit. What he about did. his son? King, his king jump. 
jokes is unmatched, bro. Exactly. So yeah, you know how that shit went. So yeah, it was it was a good time, man. Kev killed Donna Rollins, fucking crazy as hell, bro. That nigga's Donna a beast, man. It's his time. I, I, I can't wait for his. Time. <laughs> that nigga said the the best potato salad he ever had was from a gay nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga said they got the potato salad, nigga. Potato. <laughs> 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 For gator salad, and that was another thing. <laughs> I was laughing at that nigga so hard. I think it like just made me have a head. It was Donnell a bunch of is one of them. Yeah, yeah he is. A beast. But that, that shit was dope, man. There was a whole lot of people pulled up. Uh, Desi came through. Oh. Um, seen Emmanuel B. Simone was back there. Oh, uh, oh Brandon Marshall opened it up. Forgot. That's Shout out to Brandon nigga. Marshall, man. One time. Put us in Connecticut that, that hood ass club. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. I, I chopped it up with him for a minute, man. But I didn't even know he'd been on the road with Dave for three years. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. I, be ch- I checked it out on his Instagram. He got that nigga upgraded the whip. Showed up. Yeah, hell yeah. I've been working with Dave for three years. He said, and he said Dave uh, is open a um, a comedy club in Ohio. Oh, word. That's hard. That's, that's hard. Yeah, that's yeah. hard. Yeah, that's hard. We plugged in. It's just he, Dave love uh, he love uh, the ops too. But you know. Oh yeah, that nigga was in there too, cuz. Huh? That nigga was in there. You know that nigga was in there. Whole dick in the mouth. Nigga was in there. Whole dick in his mouth. Nigga was in there. Nigga was in there with the dead presidents with the Cleon. Oh, that's hard. Whole dick in his mouth <laughs> up against the tree. I'm gonna keep saying that shit. <laughs> that nigga had the Cleon. That's <laughs> hard. If niggas get that reference, they know what time it is. Nigga had the Cleon. Nigga had the Cleon. Yeah, y'all remember dead presidents? Yeah, but I don't know that. Both came Whitmer. Yeah, yeah, he went crazy, like started yeah. killing niggas and keeping the head. Yeah. One nigga he killed him and chopped his dick off and put it in his mouth on the uh, on Dead President. You didn't see that part? I don't Damn, remember, I don't that. remember that. Yeah, part. bro. Wow. Yeah, Cleon. You remember that part? Oh, yeah. Head, he yeah, he went crazy, bro. Hey, you know, I just realized too, Bokeem Woodbine is he a great actor. He a legend, bro. I was Big looking legend. at life. I was like, damn, this nigga was can't get right. Yeah, yeah, Bokeem is a is a big Yeah, he don't get he don't get enough credit. No. Old dads is funny as shit. What is it? I didn't think it would be, so I I skipped over that shit. Fuck. All right, funny as shit is gonna be too much. Okay, yeah, I was it's, about a to say that. It's, it's a good watch. It's a good watch. Okay, it's a good watch. I watched it. Right. Yeah. That's a, one of the funnier movies I've seen on Netflix in a minute. All right, I'm gonna check it out. Pop Miss is going up, baby. You are the continuity of the movie, Tyler. You are the one who stuck to. I'm the only nigga on the movie acting. There you go. <laughs> hey, but you but you brought it down, bro. You brought that shit down. You kept that shit going, yeah. man. You had a I'm, you had a great scene with King. Yeah, I that's hope you clip that, that. That's the one I need. That's the one. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good acting uh, for your real. Good Thank you, bro. Today. I appreciate it because I was just looking around. I was like, oh, everybody just roasting each other and being funny. We're like, we need the story. Yeah, well, where's the story, guys? Yeah, so it was like, all right, this is the money part. This is the hey, Tip did a good job with that narrating, though. Yeah, very good, man. Nick hey, Tip can narrate. The Nature Channel. Oh, yeah, he can. Oh, hey man, you know how niggas you can tell a nigga expected the movie to be trash, right and they call you like two times, like, but that shit was good for real. Yeah, like, that shit good. good for real. That shit good, <laughs> I'm like, bro. Okay. Thank you, man. Yeah, cause I don't even like watching like shit with myself in it. Me either. You know what I'm saying? Especially over and over. Yeah, yeah watching that shit a lot. It's a lot. It's difficult, but I like it every time I watch it. See something. Yeah, different. man. Very. Good project, man. Yeah. Congratulations oh, to all you. y'all niggas, man. Quality project, y'all. Go quality. get it. Rent it, Big buy quality. it, share yeah. it, gift it. Tell your mom and them about it. Your mom and them gonna love it. It's hey, like really, it. send it to somebody in jail. Ooh, Remo. That's what you need to do. Come on, that haircut coming and through. And now they accept the cash app, too, on the site. The now. <laughs> I thought you were talking about in jail. <laughs> <laughs> they are accepting yeah. the cash app in jail. Nah, Jesus all Christ. Day long. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> send it through the sub nigga cash Come up on, he gonna need noodles me. I'm like bro are you getting extorted just tell me cause I'm not gonna keep sending no, money to other a nigga ain't named Dwight that keeps trying me man nigga <laughs> 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 talking about ain't nobody been there you got 17 kids it's somebody Jeez. business uh, one of your little yeah, boys gonna ask you about it but the fun part is his kids can't never win a roast ever like oh, they, I don't give a fuck what do you say to them right. nigga be like but your dad right like, your daddy use his shoulders to lift balls <laughs> And I ain't talking about basketball neither. <laughs> Your daddy spitting it out over my gay uncle house right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, bro. I got to fight now. Not right now. <laughs> Sheesh. That's tough. Your daddy took my gay uncle on the cruise and wouldn't talk to him after that. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga ghosted his gay uncle. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. That's funny. He got a sugar uncle. 
A shunkle. Daddy used to go my uncle. Hey, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man, shit. I seen this. Oh, man. Gary with the T. Uh, Come on, bro. Thank you. This nigga been around there. Come on, man. Y'all should. Bro, that nigga done beat everybody. He said he's been around here how long? He's been all day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody. But that's a gnat. That ain't no mosquito. You know what I'm saying? Just let y'all know I'm a real Bruce Lee type nigga. You ain't never seen nobody like catch a fly, nigga. Fuck out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, he got balls that shit. What he said? (laughs) Kenji, my humble servant. Hey, right now, I just caught a fly. That's what's going on. I heard. I can't hear the contract. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the celebration. Hey, look. The, I'm trying not to do blind shit when I don't see it. Just be looking all the time. <laughs> Start rocking. <laughs> I'm going to start grabbing bitches' wrists. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite thing to listen to right now, then? <laughs> That's funny as hell. <laughs> nah, for, I'm being for real. That's, That's a, a good the coach on uh, Apple and Spotify. That's yeah. a good okay, question. Yeah. Good promo, good promo. I've been watching the apartments over and over, man. That shit funny as hell. Right. Hey, yeah. man, Tokyo Vanity, uh, old girl over there, she she has some, everybody has some funny shit that you get every time. Like, mm-hmm. you know, she, that nigga said, what I look like? That bitch said, a young palm tree. A young, a young palm, palm tree. tree. <laughs> hey, your scenes at, uh, at uh, Blue Flame was hard, too, though, bro. You and Mike. Funny as hell. Funny as shit. Yeah, man, I appreciate that. Because you know how when you think you forgot about nigga. Oh, God. He was at, I'm at the house trying not to die. I think it's too like, just don't die. I got so funny. I'm like, okay. <laughs> hey, so you and Money Bag were just like roasting back and forth? Like, I had to roast all of them, Dab. I called, nobody got it. I called Dab and they will be on soccer, but they ain't really. I didn't know which one he was talking about. He looked thought, just like it with the tennis shit and when he had all that polo shit on. Oh, him. God damn. That's funny. They need to put they needed to put the camera on. That was funny. Because when that yeah, nigga... Like that nigga said, uh, uh, throw it off one, best look like an iPhone case. Yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga money bag he said, hey, send a bottle over there to Loretta Divine. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like they let us just go, bro. It was longer than that. But. Nah, I'm sure. Oh, you sure. told that nigga Jay Ski, uh, nigga, you ain't got none of them slack shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so watch the apartments, man. This is what everybody gonna steal their roast from. Yeah. So, you know, when it gets on the there. platform, that's when I think shit gonna start oh, going viral man, because people yeah. watching it on their phones, so you ain't really being able to like show it or nothing or talk shit about it or whatever. You know what I mean? Because I've been hearing great reviews. I ain't heard nobody say nothing bad about it except for they try to be like it's a Tubi movie, but it ain't. It ain't, but see, man, I don't quality. see nothing wrong with that, bro. Like, Tubi is such a so big platform, Tubi is a great bro. platform, but that's not what people mean. When it's a label, yeah. They're not saying, I mean, yeah, I feel what you're saying. They're not yeah. saying this movie is on Tubi. They're saying the movie is the uh, quality of shit that you can find on Tubi. Yeah, not at all. This shit is way bad. That all. shit. Yeah, way, yeah, way, way, nigga. Yeah. The yeah. animation, the color oh, correction, yeah. the animation, sound, the sound is great. Especially see that shit on the big screen. It's like, oh, seeing that shit in the theater was. Made a big difference. Hell yeah, Super J. Super did he re- did he really that jump that over the car? Bro, they had that nigga on the pull. Well, I fuck it, y'all should just see it by now. They had this nigga on the pulley. That shit looks so real. Bro, that shit was a real stunt. He yeah. was a stunt man. Yes, yeah, sir. Got paid That's nothing dope. extra. <laughs> <laughs> really got Super J. <laughs> 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 I love that nigga doing that shit eight times. I said he got Super J today because I know he get paid the same thing I'm getting for sitting in this fucking chair. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, bro, the, fun, the funny part about me and Kato roasting, they had the young niggas roasting behind us, and I had no idea until I saw the movie. <laughs> niggas, that niggas said, what you think? Nigga had attached to his glass. <laughs> 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 what you think he got in the engine? An air fryer? What's that? What you got in his engine? Yeah, nigga, <laughs> damn. Wow. But yeah, we didn't want to get the whole movie away. You feel right. me? Right. Yeah, what's up? Y'all had a, uh, what was it today? Wednesday? Shit. It was a Halloween. How was y'all at Halloween and shit? Y'all was at a party? Um, I pulled up on Remo at, at Vibes. Oh, the comedy joint. You the comedy saying? joint, bro. That shit was Liddy. Dead. empty. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm talking about the it whole was, city was yeah, It was a haunted house. Well, see, it's like on Halloween, if you ain't giving away money, Right. Then everybody Costume. else is going to get the money. And Chappelle was in town. And Chappelle. Chappelle. Yeah. And yeah. Nelly had a, a concert yeah. in Fairburn. Nelly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Nelly got Fairburn. a concert right now, so you know what I'm saying? That okay. shit was in Fairburn. Usher was, was out there. Really? Jermaine Dupree, Nelly. Yeah, they was all there. None of them was coming to buy. Nah, they was. You went to the wrong party. <laughs> none of the people that you just named. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong, bro. <laughs> I heard it was outside, though, so I wasn't even trying to get them. Oh, shit. It was cold. Hey, you know who would have came to the party? Who? 
Keith Lee. That nigga would have reviewed the food. Came to review the food? Yeah, this, man. This is the part where you got to insert Tyler's perfect it's, it's a 10 out of 10? Keith Lee. <laughs> I was doing that, yo. I was. I'm behind the times. Who, uh-huh. Who's Keith Lee? He's a food review He's a famous vlogger. Food reviewer. Yeah, yeah, he came to Atlanta and like let the world know because he got millions of followers. Let right. the world know what Atlanta be doing. Okay. <laughs> like in terms of like not you know having hella long waits. Okay. And, you know, so that's they what were, when they find out it was him, they were trying to serve him like move people back right. and shit. So he was yeah. like, nah. He ain't playing that shit. Can I, I just I want to say something Let's go. in Let's defense. Talk about it. In defense of the business owners Mm -hmm. and what created this atmosphere of all these rules around how you got to order the food. Y'all got to remember Atlanta outside of Nigeria, scam capital of the world. Every nigga out here is a scammer. These niggas be swiping cards Mm -hmm. and you don't think about it that three, four months later, those chargebacks are coming out of these businesses' accounts. So right. they're trying to protect themselves on the front end from getting scams. So that's why you can't call in an order and pay for it over the phone. They create these rules so that they minimize the risk of them getting scammed and having mm-hmm. account chargebacks 90 days down the line. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling you. And also, and also a lot of these places... A lot, the well, cust- the I'm not talking about the customer different. service. I'm talking about the specifically about... The, the the rules yeah, around be ordering and why it's so think, hard to get it to, I think if people to go were, order in places that's to That's a lot order. to say, but I think there should be some type of uh, some type of decorum or whatever, some some type of format of what they say to to the reason why we're not going to be able to take something on the phone. We just well, don't see, take over the, over the phone. Well, see, so that's, that's, what, that's, that's, like that's the customer where the service customer service comes, comes in at. Right. It's the way you communicate. And yeah. in any place you go... If you order in New York, they be like, yo, what you what you need? Yo, what's going Fuck on? You want out here? You walking into the culture, right? So maybe the coach is also, a little snappy, and you know what I'm saying. But yeah. fuck it, man, nigga, shit, it's gonna be good. And he was going to a lot of I places that was already packed, super already. trendy spots. Yeah, so yeah. It was like mean, niggas know. But still, people yeah. still need to know how to serve. Yeah. And that was for niggas that was like services. like big. Very one cool. young big homie said on he was like that shit that he was talking about was for people that's visiting Atlanta. Everybody that live in Atlanta know exactly know. what that nigga was talking about. Right. It was like, yeah, we know not to go there until it's a day to go hey, there. Right. Of a good spot, my boy. What you got? Uh, my parents just moved to, they, to my aunt's old crib. They renovated on Campton Road. Okay. Cam- and me and Anita got some motherfucking fish from this shit. Just called, it's called Red Snapper Fish and Chicken. Mm. Best goddamn fish I ever had in my life, nigga. We was Damn. up at like one of them. Like, what the fuck? You know how many fish you had in your life? I mean, that's what I said. <laughs> Boy, what kind of fish was it? I done had fish in St. Croix, like out the water. I mm. know. Good. Damn. Damn, like that. It was red. My dad, my dad was had rest never. two days because he was his medicine was fucking with him. Mm-hmm. And of course, when he, <laughs> I gave him, I'm like, you want some of this? You know how you offer somebody something you hope they don't want? <laughs> of course, he ain't been eating. Right. Damn, that's good. I said, Tore that shit up. When, you, when, you, when the chef like it. Damn, that's what's yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. They got some fried red. This black on? I think it's black. I don't even give a damn if it's black on. I, it's oh, you can't see it. On. I don't know. Ah, it was on DoorDash when I was over there off campus. Oh, Road, okay. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully it is, man. You know, a lot of stuff black yeah. on over in that area. And check that one out. Yeah, least. yeah a lot of motherfuckers black black be fronting about the black on shit, too. Yeah. They be putting a black face yeah, out they, there. And yeah, they have black on. Like Black, black Lives on. Matter. They, like Trenton Yards. <laughs> Talk your black shit. Black huh? Okay, right. then. They black on. Yeah. They own they black. Talk that shit. They own. <laughs> one of you niggas gave Chick-fil-A the nigga macaroni and cheese recipe. Who the fuck snitched? It's crispy. It's good now. It I ain't like never ate it. Mm. Oh, okay. Mac and, hey, well, Chick Fil A know how to kill people, so I'm they they get right for it. along. And they trying to they trying to get back on. They trying to get back cool with the gays. You heard that commercial? No, what they do? It was like the, it's like a pimento cheese chicken sandwich or something. No. They got a dude doing a voiceover who's obviously gay. He's right. like, go pimento, go cheese, go pimento, go cheese. I was like, all oh, these niggas trying very to underline subtle. and get the gay niggas it's back very, on their side. How did they subtle. lose them? Because they was like, we don't they, fuck with gay people. Yeah, they, 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 they all right said that. Yeah, shit. Yeah, because they don't open on Sundays, so they're religious, and they was like, we don't believe in homosexuality. Long story, uh, medium. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's the gist of it. Yeah. I mean, That's just not be open on Sunday. You had to say too much. Yeah, they was like, man, take that rainbow shit down. Yeah, they were like, hey, Fuck it, was, it was when the day the Supreme Court uh, oh, awesome, passed the gay marriage shit. Yeah. Wow. And they, they was, was like, like y'all niggas still ain't getting no free shit. Like, y'all can get married. <laughs> ain't no want to. Right now. But we, ain't, we don't like that shit over right. here. 
pimento cheese on a fucking chicken sandwich. Gay. And that don't piss y'all off about the Obama bitch stretch. He passed gay marriage, but didn't legalize weed. Shit. Well, weed is yeah. legal. You know what I'm saying nationwide, he couldn't federally dig the hole. I thought he was gonna do it walking out the White House with his foot on well, his I'm head. A, I'm gonna shoot Barack some bail, man, because Big the man. House was Republican the whole time. They, they wouldn't let them do shit. They literally bro. said that we're going to do everything we to can to you. keep you from doing. They stuff. wouldn't let the nigga pass the health care yeah, shit. Be bro. the first black president, and he passed the Louis laws. Like, ah, oh, nigga, no. shit. Yeah, and he couldn't get a dog for the first two years. Now, he, so. now I thought some shit. He, it, they uh, wouldn't let this nigga wear a khaki suit. You yeah, know what <laughs> yeah. They <laughs> couldn't even wear teal. So did y'all see Donald Trump doing a Joe Biden walking away impression, nigga? No. Nah, what? Ryan trying to turn he into the Daily Show. <laughs> that nigga got up and walked away like Joe Biden. He did. Oh, he did a set. <laughs> he, he did his speech and was like, good night. And then that nigga did the Joe Biden walk away like that. Uh, <laughs> yo, that nigga's I funny, bro. this nigga about to comedy his way back in the White House. He I'm got a trial you. going. That nigga like Kobe. He's going 40 and going to trial the same day. Hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> Trial is not going well for him. Though. Trial's not, not going well. But he don't care, though. He no. don't care. That's the craziest as thing as about it, though. He's like, he really don't give a fuck. Y'all see Young Thug? They, got, they finally got his jury, but Young Thug look like he big now. Young they Thug finally got big. the jury pulled. They ain't picked the jury. Yeah, Talk jury, your though. shit. Yeah, that nigga like 300 right now. Bro, he, he, he big. Like he. Yeah, he big shit. He he big shit. yeah, he about 300 pounds, bro. That nigga six. He already tall. He like 6'4". Yeah, but. He like Gucci, man. Like yeah. When Gucci was fat, he was about 300 pounds. But you know, Doug has bro, gotten man. old Gucci weight. Yeah, nigga. You look at this Google. Damn, bro. What you say, Ronnie? Rice Street food. He, said, ain't, he, he ain't in Rice Street. You know, he got, he got off drugs in there. So, you know, when people get yeah, off drugs, they get, start eating cookies. Yeah. Especially that lean. Shit. Yeah. I need a sweet replacement. Yeah, but some niggas either get real skinny or they get fat and, like, yeah, replace Yeah, that shit. lean put a gut on you, too, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it just does. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but, uh, hey, man, we ain't coughing on the pot. This, this is a no cough pod. All right, cool. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> shout out to uh, Miss Vicky, man. One time, the, the OG. My mama said every time I get on live, Ronnie cough right into the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's working. <laughs> that's how I said. That's how he check his mic. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I be like, "What's up?" <laughs> <laughs> like, good? It's, it's seven twenty in the morning. Everybody on their phone now. I feel like this podcast is yeah. virtual. Uh, yeah. no, it's like Futurama. It did, it did get virtual. <laughs> it did get virtual. Hey, but, uh, I'm checking on y'all chill. Uh, Go ahead. It's been, a, it's, been a, it's been a busy week. We had the, my 19th wedding anniversary this week. Oh, yeah. Talk man. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, my dog. Yeah, 19 years of, she had to put up with me. So, goddamn it, salute to my wife. What y'all uh, did, man? Walked him around. <laughs> now we went to dinner We went to the chop house We went to our, our favorite spot But our kids was like We going, we can't wait to go to y'all dinner What? Nah, you supposed to have one of them dinners now With the kids? Yeah, we, we went yeah. to the chop house Fuck no we had like Anniversary time. dinner anniversary with not the for children? The kids. Nah At least a brunch yeah, man, our kids was Nah, like, real, uh, we, we can eat at home We get the steak and whatever So shut up Damn <laughs> Sheesh. And the next day is Clark's birthday, so yeah, that's that's the that's the day for them. Our uh, third anniversary. You get steak twice. Yeah, <laughs> got me fucked up, little niggas. <laughs> I need a night. Yeah, with your mom. that would have been a good you time. You gotta get a babysitter on a school night. You know yeah. how it be when you got a break routine and all that stuff. I man, got so. you. Yeah. I was about to say that'd have been a good time to have a you got me fucked up talk with your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we got one of them talks, but. <laughs> <laughs> But Clark's birthday was at a, uh, he did laser bowling for his birthday. It was his first party with people, like, from school. Yeah. Bro, I remember that we shit. We didn't know, but, like, two, two teachers pulled up. Like, uh, like a lot of his friends My pulled up. One girl brought Eve. four grown, big-ass kids that was in eighth grade. We was like, who the fuck? Like, Damn. <laughs> and Damn. Clark was looking like, yeah, my shit lit. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got the big kids. Because like, yeah, he, he in the third, he in the second grade. <laughs> Yeah, eighth grade. We had, my wife, you know, she had Publix sandwiches and, and uh, fingers and all this, all his favorite shit. And we, we went bowling. I paid for everybody bowling, but they, I ain't want to pay for the extra kids, bro. How you how you handle that cabal with the extra kid pull up to the party? <laughs> it's a, it's a, hey man. It's a, it's a, just the cost you got to bear, bro. You mean extra out above what you paid for? Yeah, well, it's the, they basically was not invited. The, 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 cu- the girl was, and she brought like three or four of her cousins. Her mama brought cousins and everything. I was like, all right. Oh, now see, that that is just a, um, that's fucked up with them to do, first of all. <laughs> baby kids. That's fucked up. Baby kids. That's kids. fucked up. 
Um, so, yeah, I mean, you either got to pull the parents to the side and say, you know, we only we only paid for 20. Um, y'all are welcome to stay and eat. But if y'all yeah. want to play games, it's gonna y'all gonna have to pay for the games. It was still under the amount of numbers I had expected, but it was still like inconsiderate. Like y'all don't even know. Oh yeah, just, if it's if it if the number covered it, then I wouldn't trip. If it covered it, I wouldn't trip. But yeah, you know, your, your wife and who put the shit together, the moms and the you know the council, the black woman council is like, who the hell? Yeah. Who them? Who they you is? Put your to go food up, and somebody go in your to go food. Oh, now, see, oh, now you talking boy. disrespect. Yeah. Oh, now we talking disrespect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not yeah. my gator salad. With it to go box, bro. Somebody I don't think that I really want no somebody that wasn't <laughs> somebody that wasn't invited going nobody into. Nobody wasn't invited with it. Nah, she, she, that's why. Oh, he's a public fool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, All but right, he had okay. a good time though. So. Bone ass food, shit. Turn eight. He's eight now, so you know he had. And then, you know, he, he think he's a fashion man, so, you know, he thought... Hey, what, what, what would he have on, man? Right. What was the drip like? What type of jeans he was the, rocking? The sad Jordan was, the sad was... Okay. The, band, the, the OG Black and Red. Okay. So, uh, I'm just drip. Yeah, he had to... That's what he wanted for his birthday. He got, I got him with Jordans, and he had on, like... <clears throat> he had on, like, this this blue hoodie from Old Navy, the, the, the khaki uh khaki sweat, khaki color sweatpants, and he had, like, a khaki color Braves hat. He got his first fitted hat with, like... Some, Custom stitching on it with his name and shit on it, extra, you know. All right. That's what he wanted, you know. What I'm saying so, we had a good time. He, he, uh, it's just cool to see the kid that was on the goddamn sitting on the table in the little baby seat. Like, damn, y'all is big now. The hell? Yeah, damn. Time flies like shit. Like yeah, a motherfucker. Yeah. That's crazy. You can call him on the baby that right now. Man, that shit was. People is walking up to me out of nowhere, man. Watch they watch this podcast, so I appreciate it, bro. It's, Motherfuckers be Costa Rica's on the low. I don't know why it's such a secret goddamn society. Tell somebody else. Oh, Tell speaking me. of, somebody had a good ass question in the comments for hey, the bro. Costa Ricans. Hey, he hey, said, bro. "I got a good, I got a culture cousin question." It's oh. from VVS V Doe seven five seven. One time for VA. He said, "If you could fight a celebrity, who would it be and why?" Ooh, fight a celebrity. Ooh, y'all go, y'all go, y'all go. Oh, <laughs> um, I got one. one. If I could fight a celebrity, who could it be and why? I'd tell you that I have always just not liked a particular nigga. I don't even really know why. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so intrigued. Right. It ain't never, it ain't Tyrese. <laughs> <laughs> But it's two people in the same room that got Tyrese. Man, that's crazy. Why you want to fight Tyrese, man? I'll tell man? you, bro. Yeah, I'll tell you. Tyrese was on Punked okay. a okay. long time ago, yeah. right? Yeah. When that shit was on. And they punked him by, like, he was pitching the movie. Okay. And this <laughs> nigga was pitching... <laughs> Mr. Belvedere, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't like this Ever pitch. since then, I was like, man, this <laughs> nigga is lame as hell, bro. I do not like this nigga. Why would he? He wouldn't be Robert Because he Hill. was so serious. He was like, I want to make this movie. Ah. And they made a whole episode about it. didn't even really require them punking him. It was just him <laughs> making a fool of himself, pitching a Mr. Belvedere <laughs> full-length feature film. I Mr. thought it would be like, like baby boy. Like, look at this nigga. <laughs> I think it's just like Baby Boy be on every day, so I hate seeing it. Nah, <laughs> it was that, bro. Wow, okay. It was that, dog. You had one? Yeah, man. Um, so I still kind of want to fight Jeezy, nigga. What? Yeah, I still want to kind of fight Jeezy. 17 5? Hey, man, like fuck that, hands? man. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. The reason why, and I told this story on the pod before, if, if y'all are real <laughs> culture regions, I was. A videographer, you know what I'm saying, uh, for Hot 107, right. and it was birthday bash, and it was behind stage. I'm getting official footage. I need to get people coming in, coming out, going, doing their thing, and so but I started. You be looking unofficial, Remo. Just put it in context, though. I mean, I had my jeans on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> put my jeans on. You did. You better. You was like, can I get you on tape? I was not dancing before I started recording. <laughs> 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 You. 
Ah. So he was like, nah, you can't record me. And I was like, nah, nah, I'm with the station. So, you know, I, I understand, but you know what I'm saying? He was like, nah, nigga, you can't record me and slap my camera down. <laughs> and his goons in point three seconds engulfed. Came and got both of my shoulders off the goddamn earth. Oh, they lifted your feet off the ground? Just a little bit. <laughs> and I told oh, him to put me down. <laughs> Please put me down. Like, you had down. to say that? Nigga, because my, real. my you camera fell. Say, you had to say, put, put me down? I tapped him. <laughs> That's what that means. The, the two taps <laughs> mean put me down. That is, that is what that means. <laughs> All right, nigga. Nigga <laughs> said, you're wrinkling up my outcast clothing, please. Boy. I don't, I don't remember you telling that part of the story. Yeah. I never told it. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't like the details. <laughs> I heard that shit a bunch of times. I have not heard that part of it. I don't like that part. That's, that's that what is not a good part. It's, it's the suit. fact they lifted you off the ground. Did you have a shirt? Ah, oh, what I... No, I didn't. No, I had the patches, though. I had the patch jeans. I had the patch jeans. Bro, that was like 13 years ago, bro. I've had those jeans for a while. Yeah, because that was a long time ago. How many losses you done took in them jeans? About three. About <laughs> three. About three. Those are good luck jeans, bro. Do y'all keep clothing items that you take an L in? I don't wear it again on stage. If I ever took one on stage, bro, I got this. Gotta burn them socks. I got this lumberjack ass uh, shirt, bro. I did so. I just felt like I did so bad, bro. I probably. <laughs> I just did so bad, bro. And Where I, was you at? Uh, maybe it was Harrow's. I uh, here. Uh, here? Boys doing comedy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Chicken spot. Don't worry about it. You'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. Worry I don't wear that shit track. no more. That shit in the back of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> that shit away. Who is your guy you hate, uh, Tyler? Uh, Charleston White. I don't uh, know if he's a celebrity. Yeah, he's not he's, he borderline celebrity, yeah. I guess. He's famous. Though. He Twitter. He social media. I can see famous. you slapping him in the ear and he crying. But that ain't fair, bro. I know. He ain't got one. He said fair fight. I got one that's a fair fight. That wasn't the question, y'all. The question was, who would you fight? He didn't yeah, say what's yeah. going to be the repercussions. Yeah, you got to say why, though. Oh, you know, we all know. Oh, yeah, yeah, because um, cause that nigga just made me want to fight him. Yeah. Like, it's just, yeah. Like, you don't really he, need he a does reason. Good, he's he does, good at he his job. You don't really need a reason. He make everybody want to fight Everybody want to fight him. He's a great yeah. troll. Yeah, yeah troll. so, you know what I'm saying? That type shit. But let me see. Uh oh. Who you got? First of all, it's a comedian that we all know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, please. I want to fight this nigga from Drumline who said it's a tuba thing. <laughs> Me <laughs> too. I'm going to whoop that nigga ass with a Braves baseball uniform. On. Okay, not give, us a, not a give us a celebrity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not give us a celebrity. <laughs> Not just, a, not just a nigga in a movie you want to fight. Uh oh, drumline shit on that. Primo got his drumline coat with him. I want to fight Ooh. Gabrielle Cinebay. You want to fight Precious? <laughs> Ronnie vs. Precious is the name of this episode. <laughs> she buying your polo shirts? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. She just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just fucking around. I don't know. I, I just funny. don't want to fight nobody but the nigga who said it's a tuba thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good nigga to fight. A terrible Atlanta accent can get me riled up bad. Like, that shit bothers me so oh, much man. in a movie where you could have just asked somebody. <laughs> Yeah, man. But, you know, that was before Atlanta was known as the hub of acting. Yeah. Even though they still be outsourcing the acting. It's, so it's fucking hey, on some real, on, Outsource acting. Yeah, they be uh, outsourcing all the shit. Yeah. Be so flying I on a movie in. Uh, called The Gospel. I don't know if y'all ever seen this shit. Um, but it was Idris no, Elba's, uh, not his debut, but, like, you know, he was trying to play a Southern pastor. So it was like, you know, he's from UK. So it was like, how do you get that? Draw that draw, <laughs> so it was like, so you gonna help him out? And I'm like, you ain't really got no draw though. Nah, but Southern Pat, I, he didn't. I mean, he mm. didn't. He, he didn't get it. But uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you you was you was his dub C. I, I wasn't his dub C. No, but he, he was a language he, consultant on the gospel. You spoke for like two dude? for like two days. <laughs> he spoke and Holy Ghost. Like, mm, it's it's like working. it's not working. He's not catching it. Yeah. So we're just gonna let him. It's Can too much pressure. Let's give an example of one of the lessons. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Do a welcome into the church. Welcome so everybody. You got to speak more <laughs> with a draw. Oh, he wasn't going to get that. Yeah, he wasn't, wasn't going to get that. Because sometimes. <laughs> he was not going to get that. <laughs> In the southern dialect. <laughs> this nigga sound like Al Sharpton. <laughs> Al Sharpton from New York, man. <laughs> Like yeah, yeah. I mean, you got you supposed to give yeah. him some like just like the some little 
uh, colloquial, not colloquial, that's the right word, but like just some little interjections. You're like, come on now. Oh, y'all don't hear me? Or just like something like to end his sentences. Yeah, nigga, I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were tapping people on the shoulder. They were like, uh, so yeah. can you hear where, where you where you, where you, where you from? <laughs> Who are you from, bro? <laughs> like Alabama or like oh, Alabama? Alabama? <laughs> Alabama Street or Alabama the State, nigga? In my mind, every time Rebo has an acting store, he has those like outcast clothing. <laughs> you keep saying that. <laughs> it's the only shirt he sees. Because <laughs> you can't find no out. You can't find not one crazy. piece outcast, outcast clothing. And the trim line. This nigga is going crazy. He got an outcast shirt on right now, too, Ronnie. Can't find. I'm talking about the clo- their clothing line with the old yeah. weeds on Nah, I know it. Yeah. I had a I had a uh I had an outcast tracksuit. Okay. Oh, oh, oh shoot! Damn, I ain't never seen that, bro. I might like, if you, you still got it. <laughs> I might try to get that. Bro, yeah, Lost I ain't that never in the divorce. Seen no never seen no outcast tracks. Gray tracks. Had the little O with the wings on the, oh, on the hard, chest, dude. and then the O with the wing on the. Burlington, I mean, they couldn't get that shit off. Yeah, I was no in college way. too. <laughs> yeah. Burlington is the last stop. The last bro. stop, bro. They shoot them clothes out of can. That shit has been everywhere. Yeah, they put them on a train to Mexico immediately. (laughs) (laughs) Tupac shirts. (laughs) Tupac shirts. Outcast shirts. And Mexico going stupid. The (laughs) Machiavellis? Nobody bought them, bro. The Machiavellis. Yo, is that... Huh? Like, is that funny, bro? A show like Toy Story, but inside of Burlington with all the old mascots? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you have one, that's going to make a jock suit as the it's book. It's an old shit. Sean John is the main Oh, bunch of clothes sound like Flavor Flav shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to hear the Sean John, his Diddy voice. Like, what's up, Playboy? Like, what you trying to do? Like, y'all, y'all little sisters. Ah! Mark Echo be Raekwon. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh, that, that's fire. Yeah. They never do All the pink shit hey, in the camera. What if the clothes inside of Burlington are slaves? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, that's going to be our next episode, though. The, uh, we gonna be we going to be employees at the slave clothing store. Oh, oh can... my God. Yeah, give us a team. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Everybody gotta have a different job. We need a cashier. We need security. <laughs> Welcome Lord, to Lesson Lesson. First, and we need a boss. They have the slavery podcast of them talking about their day and shit that they don't like. <laughs> <laughs> a slave cast. Am I right? Slave cast. talking about their day is crazy. <laughs> you talking about welcome to sundown again, y'all. You know who y'all. <laughs> Slay's talk, talking about their day on the podcast. It's so goddamn funny. It's the same. It's the same podcast every day. It's the same one every day. Well, how many bills you get? Day two thousand forty-seven. Episode two thousand forty-seven. Woke up. Went to work. My back showing up hurt. Showing up. Show enough hurt. Show enough. I don't know how they expect us to fuck. <laughs> Show enough. <laughs> Who the fuck owns cotton, nigga? The touch, the feel of cotton has a commercial that's still on. Aaron Neville. Need answers. Aaron oh Neville was God. the last slave. The touch, Aaron the Neville. feel of cotton. A hey, slave pillow. A slave pillow. We'll it's the shit out you, bro. <laughs> what? Do that Aaron Neville commercial? <laughs> that nigga said that touch, <laughs> that feel. Of cotton. I'm just guessing for the, 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 the fabric of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you killed that oh, shit. Bro, in, you gotta be a certain age to know what I'm talking about, bro. But that commercial used to be on yeah, basketball. Aaron Neville. So NFL. Cool. Bro, I used to, yeah, I used to. Oh. I used to imitate that nigga a lot. <laughs> that was one of my go tos. Yeah. <laughs> what else did he be promoting? Because he did not. Because y'all know that I got a story about singing Natural Woman, my brother beating my ass. He had Natural Man, though. Aaron Neville had Natural Man. Yeah. Yeah, so he's saying that shit, yeah. Whoa! He used to have an earring like you. <laughs> <laughs> it don't, but it do. It did have a little. It did, but over, it did in the 80s. Doing knocker. Hey, that earring meant a lot in the 80s, bro. Oh, hell yeah. The only black crazy. person on all the white shit in the 80s, like the Macy's Parade and shit. The, you, said, you said what? My bad. He was the only black entertainer on most of the white shit that yeah. he had. That nigga would be on Good Morning America by himself. Yeah. He'd be on floats. First he started out with 40 brothers, then it just ended up with him. Like, where the rest of your brothers at? Nigga, where the devil brothers at? He was like, I'm the only one that made it, dude. He was that. in the group. Hey, then my ass want to sing about cotton. <laughs> They're like, man, we quit. This is some bullshit. Some bull- Eight black niggas singing about fucking cotton. Niggas it's 1984. 
fuck we look like? Hey, man, what is the guest on the goddamn slavery cast? They hate Aaron Neville. <laughs> That's our Nigga up here promoting cotton. I got so much yeah. trauma. What you feel about a Daryl Kente? <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity guess who'll be fucking the master wife when they're away. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be like, Welcome to the slave furniture store, and it'd be an empty store. Got different ways for you to. Oh my god, mm. y'all, we are stupid. Anyway, <laughs> favorite RB fighter, go. Favorite RB fighter? Yeah. yeah, mine is Bobby Valentino. What he fighting? What he With fight? himself. Oh, <laughs> sexuality. <laughs> Come here, Bobby V. Don't you run from me, Bobby V. He left your pants. Then he left his pants. Fuck his phone. That nigga was so trying to get out of there. That nigga just. Like the lady man was like, I'm finna record you. And that nigga just took off, left his pants. This nigga brought the dude, man, the dude woman of, of some food. <laughs> That's some good dick. <laughs> 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 dick, dick work for DoDash. <laughs> that, that, that nigga ain't paid. That's what happened. She was like, you ain't got no money. Okay. Now, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, that nigga exactly ain't paid the prostitute. Happened. Hey, man, pay your prostitutes, dog. That shit keeps hey, you out you a whole lot of trouble, up, I've heard. Bro. You know, the White House probably could have got out of this whole shit with about, about $800. Like, he could have, he probably could have got out of all that shit. 800, I don't know. Mouth rate got to be about eight bands. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a Even problem. if a nigga gets you, you got it. You know what I mean? Huh? It was Thought Attack. It was Thought Attack. <laughs> that shit crazy. Thought Attack by 16, man. <laughs> hey, y'all seen the preview for the new color purple? They try to make it happy as a motherfucker. No, I seen no, a chick. I seen a chick that was dressed as a, color, as a purple crayon. No, you seen that shit? That <laughs> shit was, was smart, color though. purple. <laughs> that shit was smart. <laughs> color purple. A black girl with a She was legit the crayon. color purple. Fucking hilarious. Hey man, the funniest shit I saw was it was on a real part. It was on a real site. It said the White House has now got a sponsorship deal with Big Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Rub it where it hurts. The internet go internet. Big Gay. Rub it where it hurts. Big Gay. How long, good God Almighty? How long? Hey, hey, how long, y'all? Yeah. That boy can preach. That boy can preach. That boy can sing over here now. Yeah, that's that Bruce. That's Bruce Bruce. Joke. Yes. How long it got him out of How long? Hey, hey, hey. And you know, it's people in the comments. Uh, shout out to Lavelle Crawford for telling people that my joke is my joke. Yeah, uh, come on, come man. To tell him it's my joke. But every time I, it's, everywhere it's posted, it's somebody like, he stole this from Lavelle Crawford. <laughs> It'd be a long soliloquy. I responded to all of them on every platform over the years. Yeah, every <laughs> like, time. No, 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 this right. nigga's Meek Mills. No, it's Wild Lady. Gonna be you gotta, now you got to put that video underneath now. Yeah, man, but still, still somebody like, I still think he's dope. Yeah, niggas gonna believe what they want to believe. Yeah, that's what part of the internet is about, Fuck niggas believing what they want to believe, dog. Yeah, this motherfucker. somebody with 200 followers and, like, nothing of their own type of art, type nothing. Them be the niggas you gotta respond to to let them know. I, I, will, I will go low. I will sink. <laughs> Fuck what Michelle Obama talking about. I'm, I'm going down it. there because it's fun down there. Everybody up here is on some like positive shit. Nah, I need to get down in the dirt with your ass. So here I, I be come. having a good. T- I be having a good long Drake paragraph. Or <laughs> Drake paragraph. paragraph. Like, let me just block this thing, man, because I can't. Because you'll yeah. do all these roasts or you'll roast somebody back. They just steal your jokes, niggas. Yeah. Niggas is stealing jokes from the comments, nigga. Roast them and block them. It's still on your page. Yeah, nigga, I don't even want to get nobody no like, bro. We smothered the fire. We don't got them. Nah, hell nah, bro. Light their ass up. They ain't they ain't got no talent. They can't keep the light. Up if they got some followers. Mm-hmm. Only they got way they some... only way they gonna do it is they can keep the light, but they ain't got the talent to keep the light. So that shit'll be for it'll last for however long you talk to them. That shit real. Fuck that. We going down there, bro. We whip his ass, he ass. That's how you get money, man. Being petty, dog. Look at all the rich people. <laughs> Fucking petty as hell. <laughs> Well, I mean, that just like yeah, there's, I mean, there's outliers in every situation. There's very outliers in every situation. You're on your way to being rich because you, you're just petty now. Now, rich is next. Rich is next, rich is next God damn it. Hell yeah. But yeah, man, go down there, Ronnie. Don't be afraid, man. This nigga had glasses changed. I ain't got time. Yeah, that, he said, yeah. You, oh, you changed the glasses up on us. Okay. Did you yeah, know that? <laughs> 
<laughs> I got tired. <laughs> hey, man, shit. Let me promote some shit, bro. Promote your shit, Shit man. going, all right, man. Hey, G-Ho sold out. Can't, can't, can't get in. Can't, can't, can't get in, bro. We sorry. This is afterwards. This sold out. That happened. Boom. Uh, be in Huntsville as well on yeah. November 7th. Boom. Stand, Stand up, up live. Stand up live at Huntsville. That was a guess. Pull up on us. I never right. do. No, that was a perfect guess. Uh, <clears throat> DC Improv, December 3rd. Yeah. Pull Boom. up. That part. 12-3. Yeah. Raleigh. Uh, Raleigh. Good nights. Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. We at there. Pull up on us, man. Shit's yeah. going. So get a, be a part of it before you don't be a part Come of on, it. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, they just get caught in the wave and be out of the high dynamic duo is doing like Tyler didn't tell y'all the tour is the high dynamic duo. Tyler Chronicles damn bread, funny as a motherfucker. I don't know who's gonna last, but I just know it's gonna be funny. Oh, we uh flip a coin. I was about to say, yeah, y'all be that's yeah, hard. flip a coin and then you get to whoever wins get to pick like what they're gonna do that show. That's so hard. like I wanna go first or I wanna go second. So I'll be trying I'll be well, it work out for me. Cause like Brandy wanted to go uh, last on the second show, and I be wanting to be done on that second show. <laughs> By the time, motherfucker. Y'all you know. should do that on stage. Flip the Flip coin, coin on stage. No. So that's what we hard. plan on doing, but we got high. We plan on recording us flipping the coin and then it landing before they seeing what it is, and then whoever yeah. they on, they come yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, that was a plan, but doing it on stage would be fire too. That shit would be fire. But I don't really like being on stage before, before I, you go before up, I yeah, perform. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, it's a whole reveal. Yeah. It's a reveal. <laughs> that will be fire. Uh, November 12th, Ha Ha Mafia, but there's the barrel. It's almost sold out. Y'all pull up, man. Hey. Yeah. Pull up, pull up. No, and uh, January 11th, Hurrah. the Stardome. Stardome, the Blessed AF Tour begins. Yeah. Hey, Stardome. I got Ferg with me. I got Gigi LaFleur. Y'all La pull up, man. So we trying to sell out. We trying to do. I want to sell out two shows in Stardome. I'm just saying right now. I want to sell out two shows. Mm. I was born in Birmingham, left that bitch when I bought two. So. Uh oh. You know what I'm saying? Exclusive. I always had a good time. <laughs> Nobody do that. Always know that at all. Hey, bro, that was an exclusive. Wow. You just slid on us on the Zoom. I didn't tell y'all that. Y'all didn't know that? <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> he, he said that before. I heard him say that. No, okay. I, I was it. born in Birmingham, bro. I moved to Atlanta when I was two years old. My I thought niggas saying sell tickets. I'm from my dad's from Birmingham. So. <laughs> Got you. I really just thought you were saying that to sell tickets. I thought you were born. He said, he said it on the, on the, uh, uh, the uh, Roy episode. Ah. <laughs> No, I'm sure you did. I just didn't remember. I'm sorry. Cause I'm I'm very I'm very Atlanta. Uh, you or you know. Yeah, you're so supposed to be two years old, ain't shit. You ain't know nothing yeah. about Birmingham. You didn't know shit. You, know, you just I got the water on your body. Shoot dice and uh, play tonk at the uh, John A. White Boys Club. <laughs> <laughs> hey, T.I. Hey, told me I wasn't from the West Side because I moved when I was five. You like nigga, you from the East Side? He asked him where he went to high school at. Yeah, high school is the great divide. When you was like figuring and cussing. Pretty much. Mm, like, that's where you're from. You Middle school, high school. Yeah. yeah. I think where you get your first fight at, where you from? If you're a man or a boy. If you, but if I moved a lot of places, though, so I fought everywhere. Where the first <laughs> what place you at, nigga? I know you ain't fight at two. Yeah, man. So every time a mom got a big tax return, we move further south, further yeah. to the south side. The deposit, my boy. South side, baby, big, we big can go turn. high. All right, Ron, you're going to love this one. Where the rich black folks lived at in the 80s and the 90s. Like, the well, well off, the higher society of blacks were on the east side of Atlanta. And Cascade. Right. And Cascade. Hey. Hey. Cascade, too, yep, for sure. This is where the benches is at, right by the bandos and shit. You dig? All right. Hey, so Tyler lived there. Tyler got down was on KK, on KK. Hell yeah. Stay over there by May. You feel? <laughs> by May. By May behind the marathon. I'm you. Hey, so Remo did an Anthony Anderson impersonation that I missed, according to the comments. <laughs> what? Did you? Wow. I missed that too. They said Remo imitating Anthony Anderson was cold. I ain't know it was him talking. Yeah, a couple people said. Oh, that's dope. That was the episode I wasn't here. He must have been talking about doing the... Uh, well, you know, I don't listen I to nobody but I, myself, so I, you know. I didn't do that at all. All right, never mind. But, oh, no, okay. you, you might have when you was talking about the, uh, really? the Really? Yeah. When you was talking about the, uh, the show? The show warm-up? Yeah, warming up the show. Okay, I don't have to go back. And, yeah. Sometimes right. shit be happening that, you know, you just be having a good time. Go back mm -hmm. to that episode, man. Mm -hmm. Go back, man. All right, but here is the culture comment of the day from N Dagger 8. I hope that don't mean nigger dagger, because that'd be crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, oh, that man. Is. It N says, Dagger. It says, it's a lesbian lady. <laughs> I'm glad you roasted them because they roasted you too. It says, in college, Ronnie got his bachelor's in biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> a biscuits degree? A, B, a BA in biscuits. <laughs> a BA in biscuits is the best. 
<laughs> make them fluffy, delicious. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. So that time, my bro. Now your bubble can blow a bubble at a down later, nigga. <laughs> strong jaw that ho. Okay. Uh, wow. no, strong crazy. jaw that ho. Y'all ain't ever heard that? Blow a bubble now later? No, I ain't, ain't y'all heard that before. Yeah. Your mama can gargle peanut butter, nigga. Gargle peanut butter. That's y'all niggas ain't old, bro. I thought y'all niggas were old. Y'all niggas ain't old. Snapbook. Y'all niggas ain't old. Bro. I had that. That's the snapbook. That's out there in the streets, buddy. That was shouty shouty. No, no. <laughs> um a lot of West Side roasting going on. Yeah. Dude, what it you was, said? Grown people used to roast fat kids back in the day. I don't know if y'all know the torment of a fat child. I, I don't heard every roast. The torment of a fat child. As soon as you walk in a barber shop, they start going crazy. Goddamn, we ain't gonna put like nigga. Nigga walk in fat child nine nine. Say my name. Say my name. <laughs> fat child nine nine. You <laughs> <laughs> dark That's side. That's the thing when I go pants shopping. Oh shit, fat child. <laughs> I think only big niggas go pants shopping. Pants shopping is my jam. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta shop strictly for pants. Niggas, but DM asked who I got my clothes from, and all the big women too asked who I get my clothes from. Big Drip you King. Come to Where you get your big ass clothes from? <laughs> <laughs> big Drip King. Drippy Simpkins. Drip. Peanut butter drip, goddamn. Honey mm-hmm. butter drip. Honey butter. Big gonorrhea shit. Honey butter, nigga. <laughs> Chlamydia. <laughs> Nigga dressed chlamydia, <laughs> feeling me? <laughs> Big drip. Big oh, knots. Big drip. <laughs> Big drip. Cloudy oh, drip. Be doing yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, it's on you, brother. My bad. I had a little I'm crisis in the text. Um, yeah, man, I'm mad that winter okay. time is off. I wanted to see who gave Magic 8. Oh, God. They were never going to show that. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. More. We like to end the show wow. with a segment. <laughs> We call Secret <laughs> Genius Life Coach where I give the people some words of wisdom. <laughs> get through the week. Get to the next episode. I'm Kamal the Secret Genius. The words of the week are this. This is some advice for the Atlanta people, Atlanta residents. Niggas be breaking in cars a lot. Mm-hmm. And I done figured out how to stop it. What? Yeah. You got to pre-report it <laughs> as soon as you get there as soon as you park your car you call the police and you say "It's niggas out here breaking in cars I need y'all to send somebody out here mm. and then God, the police gonna be on their way and then two hours if you there for more than two hours you gotta call again mm-hmm. you just gotta pre-record it, pre-report it just call and tell the police somebody broke in your shit before they do it and then the police will be out there you in Atlanta anywhere longer than two hours you deserve to get your car broken in two you gotta go home is a great strategy. Great he got in his fifth outfit chain right before we got hey, out. Hey, man. This is exactly what I want to get it from. Jazzy Faye, bitch. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. I was Jazzy Faye and Killer Mike. I was Killer Faye. Killer Faye. <laughs> Jazzy Mike is way worse. Jazzy Mike. It's so <laughs> worse. Jazzy Mike is like he on the bus. Jersey Mike's. Oh, God. Jazzy Mike, nigga. <laughs> More than culture to brand is the more than culture show. Come on, the secret genius, Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. Ronnie Jordan, I'm saying gas buddy. I'm gonna do this shit every week. Right. Oh god. <laughs> we out, man. Shit. Hold it up. All right, Ronnie. Hold it in the road. Go watch the Lakers, man. Watch the Lakers be Lakers.